All right, everybody, super, super excited to have you here. Um, my name is Jonathan Dane, and I'm joined with Larry Kim over at Mobile Monkey. Um, we're going to give it a few minutes before everybody is in here. We see quite a, a few attendees joining right now. Um, so let's let's aim for 10:05 uh, a.m. Pacific time to, to get rolling, and then we'll uh, we'll get the party started. Awesome. <laughs> So, so Larry, when we were uh, talking before, and we can have everybody listen in too, um, one of the things we chatted about was the first guest post that I ever did was actually on WordStream. And I don't know why you guys even accepted it back then. I mean, you probably weren't the decision maker. <laughs> so your your posts were hilarious. Like they did extremely well. They were very disturbing, though. They, they <laughs> but, but, was, it, was it because of the gifts, or what was it because of <laughs> the imagery that you would use? Yeah, of, I, I was like different things. Uh, but but they did very well, and for whatever man, reason, our blog manager took a liking to uh, your your content, and I think I think she even. <laughs> Tried to, to bring you on as like a full time or part time contractor or something, you know. I think you must have done like a dozen a dozen contributions uh, or, or or more. Was that right? I think no. I forget. I forget about that. Yeah, they did try to make it more formal, and I was like, I remember uh, asking like what I could charge, and then they're like, Well, you tell me, and I was like, three hundred dollars, and they're like, Fine. I'm like, Oh my god, I'm so rich. <laughs> and I was so pumped. I remember that. <laughs> Well, you know, they're, they, they, you know, they're monetizing the blog by selling like SaaS software. So, like the of content course. is, is, yeah, is it, it, the the content is very valuable there. Yeah. yeah. So. No, you guys, you guys, when when you were there too, I mean, the 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 backlink profile I remember seeing compared to any other company was like, oh my god, there's no way in hell that we're ever gonna like even remotely make a dent in what you guys do. Um, and so kudos, kudos to your brain and what you've done and obviously transferring over to everything else you do. So I'm, I'm super pumped about this webinar. Cool. Should we get started? Yeah, let's do it. Um, awesome, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining. Um, my name is Jonathan Dane. Like I said in the little intro before, I'm joined with Larry Kim, who is the CEO of Mobile Monkey. Um, we're going to talk about chatbots. And I am shocked at how many people actually signed up. We had 498 registrants. Our go-to webinar plan only supports 250 so i hope we don't burst it um but uh but basically Larry's is going to take us through what mobile monkey can do and a lot of tactical uh things that i'm super super in love with um so we will have q a so please as we go along you know help tweet this help share it i know larry is going to share it live as well um but ask questions as we go along and then i'm going to ask larry um at the end and also maybe interject here and there um so we'll keep it super conversational but but um, but Larry, you know, take take us away. Awesome, thanks, Jonathan. Thanks, uh, Client Boost friends. Uh, on the agenda today, we're talking mostly about unicorns. Also, we'll have some time for for ads and stuff like that. Um, just kidding. Uh, a little bit about me before we get into all the crazy hacks. Um, I'm pretty obsessed with unicorns. Um, I'm the founder of WordStream. I sold that business last July uh, to, to USA Today. Um, it's kind of a relief because I'm one of these growth marketers always blogging about you know, how to be successful at growing your business or whatever. And it would have been pretty embarrassing if, if the company didn't have a successful outcome. Um, I'm working on this new chatbot marketing company called Mobile Monkey. Uh, and, um, and, and yeah, that's, that's enough about me. Uh, back to our story. Um, I, uh, Part one, why should uh, marketers care about Facebook Messenger marketing and, and, ch and chatbots? Uh, well, there's a couple reasons. Um, there's more daily active users on messaging uh, than, than, than social media. Um, so do you care about social media marketing? Probably. Well, this is even a bigger opportunity here. Um, less, less than 1% of businesses have the ability to engage with their customers uh, you know, using messaging. So that's crazy. Um, the uh, there, there's billions of, of daily active users on these platforms. Uh, Facebook actually just announced two weeks ago that they were integrating uh, WhatsApp with with Facebook with Insta Instagram. Like that's that's like two like three billion uh, daily active users. So this is kind of a very important channel that you should be you know thinking about uh, in terms of the engagement rates that, that you can generate from from chat. It's it's uh, typically about 80 percent open rates typically uh, and and um, 
and then that's significantly better than, than social media reach and and, and, and uh, email reach uh, and so um, I think most people you know generally accept the the, the, the those kind of statistics um, the question is where, where marketers get stumped is, is just how do they um, how do they do the marketing you know what I mean like how do you create the ads how do you integrate this with your pay-per-click advertising campaigns uh, how are you supposed to actually do this and so that's kind of the the topic of, of today's webinar uh, we're talking about messaging and and um, at a high level you can think of it as sort of a combination of it, it's sort of the next email and the next landing page so, so that like don't be confused about like chatbots thinking that it's like Siri or or, or um, I don't know Google Home or Alexa just just think of messaging as, as, an, as a marketing technology that is kind of like email and it's kind of like the landing pages that you're using uh, in your campaigns today so I'll give you a couple examples uh, you can you can send out surveys you can send out you know webinar registrations um, you can have people register what for webinars. You can set up reminders saying like, "Oh, the, the webinar is starting in in ten minutes or whatever." Uh, you can do drip campaigns. Uh, so, so all the the types of things that you typically do with emails and landing pages are sort of combined into this uh, invention. And I think this is going to be a very important field, uh, uh, you know, in terms of messenger marketing and, and online advertising. I think it's an area to focus on for the next five to ten years. Uh, and I can tell you how this works. Basically, uh, in the past, um, it was possible for people to message your, your Facebook page by clicking on the send message button, uh, and those messages would go straight to your uh, page inbox, uh, which is sort of this annoying dumping ground for, for, for um, you know, various inquiries. And then once in a while, your pay-per-click advertising manager or your social media manager would kind of view those notifications and manually respond to, to people, you know, by typing, you know, in the, in the page inbox some kind of a response, which would then trigger a, um, a notification on their messenger application. Um, and so the problem with that was it, it, it wasn't very scalable because, you know, who wants to respond to 100, you know, messages and stuff like this, uh, especially if it's not, if it's just like a social media marketing manager. Uh, and so about two years ago, Facebook released an API for Messenger uh, and, and um this this functionality doesn't actually exist in Business Manager. Uh, it's it's just an API only. Okay, and um, I think the, the challenge is that it's very complicated for a lot of marketers who aren't software developers. Um, but what you can do is you can use products like Mobile Monkey and other chatbot tools, which use that Facebook API to implement a product that makes it really stupid and, and idiot proof. Like it's it's really, really simple to to download the contents of your Facebook inbox and then kind of like reply all, uh, you know, and, and, and send out messages to, to all your contacts. So, so you can think of it as, as sort of like a MailChimp of, of, uh, of chat marketing or sending out messages, but um, you know, to, to messaging platforms rather than email. Uh, and so if you've ever used MailChimp or something like this, it's uh, kind of simple. You you just create the content that you're sending. And so instead of creating an email, you're creating the chat content. So there's different elements that you can add to the content, like images and questions. Um, and then what you can do is then just specify lists of people that you want to send the message to, like a contact list. Uh, and, then, and then you can fire away, just blast uh, you know the, the content that you're creating to the list that you've chosen. You can schedule or or, or blast these 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 messages. Except that this is way better than email. Okay, so the content that we're distributing here is via a push notification to their messaging platform, and the content is is significantly more engaging than what you can do in email because you can you can that button where it says uh, sign me up, Jonathan. It's not going to a web page. It, it triggers uh, the kind of dialogues like, you know, OK, well, then can I get, you know, what time do you want to go to or and and, uh, it, you know, I can and what's your company name and how many people do you employ? Like I can ask the qualifying questions in the chat session. Uh, and so right. what, what, one, one thing that I do, uh, Jonathan, I know you're a big content marketer like myself. Um, mm -hmm. I, I use I, I use chat marketing for, for content marketing. So whenever I do a blog post, I send the blog content to my email list, but I also send it to my, my chat list, which drives about 100 times more engagement than, than, the, than yeah. the email list. And, and so Neil Patel, he's kind of a big deal. He's, I don't know why, he's on my, he's somehow on my um, chat subscription list. And I and he reads my articles. I know because I can see that little avatar of his kind of advancing as I, as I blast 
him content and he's been on it for like a, <laughs> like a year. Um, so, so <clears throat> I don't think it's spam. I think this is a very valuable form of, 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 of internet marketing that you should be focusing on because the open rates are, are amazing. Um, meaning like I take the same articles that I write, Jonathan, like the same content that I'm producing. We, we send it out via email and then we send it out via chat and the chat open rates are between three to 10 times higher read rates. And then the click rates are between 10 to 20 times higher. So, you know, if you multiply yeah. those, those through, we're talking like, you know, 60 to hundred times more engagement um, because it's, it's kind of like a funnel, like, you know, you know, you, t you know, 10 times more make it to the first stage of reading it and 10 times more people actually click on it. So that's, that's like a, a hundred times better. And this is, this is, this is the same content that I'm sending, you know, the same articles being sent out through, through uh, messenger versus email. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so um, my, my point is just saying is just that, that the, um, um, I don't think it's spammy because if it's spammy, why the heck is 68% of these people reading it? You, you, you know what I mean? And then, and 16, yeah, in, in so, my, so you know, there, there are a lot of people to do that. Um, so, so, uh, so people think, you know, this is spammy. I don't want to send people messages, but you'd be surprised. Like people want to hear from you if you're a business or a brand that they care about. You, you see what I'm saying? Like just don't, don't like, you know, assume failure. Like, like just, you know, the, Assume that you're going to have something interesting to say, and that people want to hear it. Uh, the people who who subscribe to your list, and 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 so it, you know, e-messaging I think is is the communication platform of the future. It's built with privacy in mind. Like you can't just buy a list of of names. You, you know, like uh, people have to opt in. Uh, you have to honor the unsubscribes. The content is more dynamic, and so you really have this really interesting. Um, you know, possibilities of, of stuff uh, that I'm going to share with you. But before going into all the strategies, we need to talk a little bit more about, um, you know, how to build these messages and stuff like this. But, but, but I'll just take a stop here. Jonathan, any thoughts or questions from you or the audience so far? Uh, no, not yet. I mean, I'm I'm in, insanely impressed. I mean, your, your slides remind me of Lisa Frank stickers, if you remember those. Um, the amount of variety you have in your unicorns is uh, what's blowing me away right now. And and like you said, like if people are worried about it being spammy, like it, it's people allowing you to actually message them, right? They're opting into it. And like you said, so I don't think that I would be concerned about that whatsoever. But I'm really pumped about these uh, these next parts that you're about to uncover. So so that's kind of the high level overview. Let's spend some time on the nuts and bolts of building the content. Um, and so on the left here, if you've never seen a chatbot conversation, that's not a person responding to the, to, to me. That's a robot. That's a chatbot. Okay. Okay. So like, like I was saying before, chat marketing is like combining a email message with kind of a website experience, right? Like this is kind of like a form on a website, except it's, it's delivered in a conversational manner. And the question is, how do you do that? Uh, and so it's, it's not that hard. We, you, you use, again, you, there's an API with, with Facebook, so you could either write software to do this, or you could use, um, you know, one of these visual chatbot builders like Mobile Monkey. And I was, it was saying earlier, uh, there's two types of content that you can send to your users. There's static and dynamic content. So static content, that's very simple, kind of static content, like static images or text. Uh, and this is just like uh, very simple, like we're just sending this content that's going to show up in their messenger. Uh, uh, you know, and, and, and this is what that looks like. So it's, it's like a live webinar, blah, 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 sign up. Okay. And it has one of my unicorn pictures. Uh, now the question becomes, oh, sorry, sorry. The, you, you can make these static, um, messages a little bit more exotic. You can uh, add video or attachments, uh, you know, so like maybe I could send, send you the slides, by the way, if you want to download the slides, uh, if you go to, uh, bit.ly uh, slash Larry dash client, client boost, um, that's actually a chat bot that, that will that will send you the slides uh, via a PDF uh, attachment. Um, so you can you can make these static um, uh, static messages very useful by by embedding you know videos and attachments. Uh, but I think what people want to know is like how do you make it so they're dynamic and and you can collect you know all this registration data. And so um, there's two dynamic elements that you, you need to understand. One of them is called a form and the other one's called a quick question. Um, but they're very similar to HTML forms uh, on a web page where you can just, you know, define either 
one or a series of questions that you want people to ask and and you can apply validation and you can save the values that the user you know either types or or inputs um into different variables uh like uh, and, and and basically uh, here's the kind of the sign up form for the webinar it's like you're asking you know what time and what's your email address uh and then when i then send this message to the user uh it shows up as a uh, kind of a uh, uh, dynamic form, okay? So we're asking user questions and saving the responses into different variables. Now, um, the, the really cool thing about this, Jonathan, is that you can um, you can do really great segmentation. So like, uh, you know, you're an agency, and so, you know, I'm sure you get a lot of people reading your blogs, and I, I think probably you sell, you sell mostly to in-house advertisers, I'm guessing. Um, uh, that's, that's at least, yes, but I think a lot of agencies are on our email list. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So, 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 like, one of your qualifying questions, you know, in your sales process would be like, "Are you an agency or an in-house advertiser?" And so, normally in marketing, you you kind of you buy an audience and you make inferences about that audience's identity based on um, based on their browsing behavior and 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 another kind of proxies for who we think that individual is. Uh, but in chat marketing. You don't have to guess. You can ask them. You can ask them, are you an agency or an, an advertiser, and let them respond so that you can do segmentation. So, like, you know, if, if they're an agency, well, then send them down, you know, these are called dialogues. Um, send them down, you know, the, a, a different dialogue than if they say they're an in-house advertiser. Uh, they're basically messenger funnels. And so what you can do then is remember how I was saying you're, you can save the the um, the conversational criteria that they – that they uh, that they uh, express. What we can do is we can do a segmentation where we create uh, different custom audiences based on what they said in their conversation. So, like here, I'm defining a custom audience based on people who self-declared as agencies. Okay, uh, and and um, so that I can send a very relevant chat blast and drip campaigns to those agency marketers. Uh, and this is an example of, of something that has an 85% response rate, very, very high click-through rate, because this was, I, I had certainty about the identity and the uh, the demographic of the, uh, of the individual here, uh, as opposed to just guessing. Uh, and so, um, you know, this is a chat is a very mobile friendly uh, format, so I can pre-fill questions with email addresses, phone numbers and addresses. Uh, you know, Facebook already has your phone number and address and location, all this stuff. And, and so, so just they'll pre-populate the buttons. And when, when you press the button, that information will be released to, to the app, to the um, to the business. OK. Uh, and so in terms of how to navigate these experiences, there's there's a button based navigation and then there's natural language processing. Uh, so button based navigation is like ninety nine point nine percent of the, the chat bots out there are, are based on buttons. So it's kind of like a phone tree when you call like, I don't know, Home Depot or something like this. They'll say like press one for sales, press two for services. Um, this is very easy to implement. Um, I love that it kind of sets boundaries over sort of what the capabilities of this bot is, right? Because if you if you don't have a menu, then they start asking stupid questions like, "Are you a boy or a girl?" and and, and it just it just really degrades. Um, you know, the the opposite of a button based navigation is, is it's sort of a natural language processing based chatbot navigation. That's like Siri, Google Home, Alexa. This is where you have so much content. And you just could never fit it on 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 you know a couple menus you know, and so this is a really, a really you know it's a really amazing user experience if it works but it usually doesn't work like I I kind of view Siri as sort of like a broken Google you know what I mean, uh, and so the way that you if you're feeling adventurous the way that the natural language processing works is it's very simple. Uh, as you're creating the content, those dialogues uh, for like you know the webinar signup page. Um, remember, this is kind of like a website where you know we're hosting this content for you, okay? Like it, it uh, it's it's being served uh, to to people through chat, but we're, but we're hosting for it, uh, hosting the content. You can add triggers to the content. So like we just created a webinar signup page, so we could add triggers like you know register for the webinar or or today's webinar. That that's kind of like an AdWords how. The goal is to create ads and then select keywords that will trigger those ads if someone searches for it. Uh, so here in the chatbot, we've specified, we've created c content which gets triggered, you know, because the 
chatbot AI analyzes the intent of the user request. It, it tries to make a match with the existing content that it has uh, in, in, in inventory, and then tries to serve the correct page based on you know the best possible match. Uh, and so the thing is that it's kind of like a search query report here. Like you, you don't really know what all the different questions people are going to ask your business, but at the same time, you know, you know, 20% of the questions are asked 80% of the time, you know, it's, it's going to be stuff like, you know, what are your hours? What are your directions? That kind of stuff. And so, uh, we have this uh, sort of a search query report where it, it shows all the unanswered questions. Uh, you know, that's wherever the AI couldn't figure out a question. And so what you're supposed to do is like periodically once every month or so, just clear out the, um, you know, the unanswered questions by providing, you know, simple answers to those questions so that the next time someone asks those questions or something similar, because, because there's a sort of a broad matching happening here, uh, that, that it, it, will, it will point to those queries to the new content. Um, by the way, don't worry. Like these robots aren't fully taking over your your chat inbox. Like you can still go back to reverting to the old way of doing things, which is where you used to, um, you know, someone would message your business and you could talk to them using the the Facebook page inbox. Uh, that's called a, a live operator takeover, and and um, that's where the the user. Uh, just really get stuck and you want to help them out by kind of manually typing in an answer. Uh, and, and if you do that operator takeover, the, the, the chatbot will just shut itself up uh, so that so it's not like the user's talking to two people at the same time. Um, so talk a little bit about uh, how to chat blast. Oh, sorry, let, let's stop here. Um, you know, any, any questions about sort of the, the, the building blocks and navigation and, you know, uh, dynamic content? Yeah, some, somebody was asking, so first off, um, like we, we were running messenger ads for ourselves and clients and we had to shut them off because it was super annoying that like Facebook would ding us for the response rate if it was too late. And I was like, oh my gosh, I don't have time for this. So what you're showing right now is amazing. And like you said, if you ever wanted to, you can revert back. Um, so one person asked, um, and this may be something you, you, you show later. Are you able to trigger a message to send to people who visited a certain page but didn't complete the action? Like, you know, they, they were at the moment of conversion but didn't actually convert. Is yeah, that possible? It's a pretty common pattern. Like it's it's using um, using Messenger as sort of a like remarketing almost. So like rather than sending ads to them, like you can just send them a sequence of messages. So let, let let's um let's let's go through that and and um kind cool. of sh show you how to do that. So uh, chapter three, I want to give you a couple of tips on how to chat blast like a master blaster. Um, so. Uh, <laughs> Uh, thanks for that. Uh, the the there's um in chat what I like to do is like I like to do something called the kaboom drip. Uh, that's where you you know it's kind of like remarketing where you want people to remember that like that they were chatting with you. So like if if you create a session with 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 my business like messaging my page, you'll actually get uh, you know somewhere between five and 10 messages over the next two days. Uh, so we're, we're sending out like, you know, after one minute, send drip tip one, after two, another minute, send tip number two, et cetera, et cetera. And then I, I like to compress them a little bit because, um, you know, who, who really remembers who they were chatting with like, you know, a month ago, you know? Uh, and so, um, you know, there's a couple tips on, on when you're doing the chat blasting in terms of the content that you're creating. Uh, I think you'll love these, Jonathan. Like, it's basically psychological hacks. Uh, so I'll, I can't claim credit for these ideas. It's from a guy named Isaac Radinsky, who's like a kind of a genius. But anyways, um, he he's saying like, you he, have you ever spoken to a salesperson who like, or, or ever done a, like a therapy session where the, the, the therapist just keeps asking you questions and then the, and they keep repeating what you're saying right back to you, you know? Uh, and so, <laughs> so what he's saying is like, you need to kind of be that therapist and, and, and um, kind of just keep repeating back their identity and their situation back to them because then they, 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 they really, that really resonates with them because, you know, it sounds like you're listening. Okay. <laughs> So it's like, you know, how would you describe yourself, Larry, as it pertains to uh, chatbot marketing? So like all of these all of these buttons lead to the same kind of, you know, I'm going to just try to sell you a, a, a chatbot course. OK, but like if, if they say you're a novice, well, then I'm, I'm just going to say, like, great news, Larry, I have a training program specifically 
you know, designed for novices looking for a guided path. Like, like this is stuff that you can't do on a landing page. You see what I'm saying? Because like, again, landing page is just lowest common denominator. We're making inferences of, of like who we think the audience is. And we're trying to come up with like a, a sort of a, 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 uh, an offer that will resonate with all of them or, or like the lowest common denominator here, here we can really be clever. Well, Good. And you have way more real estate space. Like you can you can use conditional logic on a form, but you cannot get people excited in a way that you can with like these just like this. Exactly. So, so just consistency. You're trying to really, you know, reassert their identity right back to them. Okay. Uh, that, that's, it's a, that's kind of an old old uh, you know psychological trick. Um, you know, this is a, there's so many of these ideas. You really got to check out this guy, Isaac Rudensky. He's got like 21 of these crazy hacks. I'm just picking two that I thought were funny. Um, another one is, is this notion of reciprocal concessions. Okay. So this is where like the, the, the uh, I don't know, your, your kid asks you for a, for a new Xbox uh, and then you're like, nope. And then, then, then he says like, well, you know, can I have a cookie? And, and then you're like, okay, fine. Uh, basically, you're 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 sensing that the kid is being more reasonable, and therefore, you should also feel the need to sort of reciprocate that concession, you know. Uh, and so here, here's an example. I'm just saying like, hey, what do you think of this chatbot video? It's $199. What do you think? Like 99% of people say it's too expensive. Okay, it's like so. The reason why I'm doing this is I'm anchoring people on this a really really expensive price. I'm then saying like, wait a minute. Like, yeah, I agree with you. It's it's that's a waste of money. Like. What if I gave you a 94% discount code so that it was like, you know, 10 bucks instead? Um, and then, you know, now, now I'm like, got the user anchored on this high price, but there's like this limited time discount, you know, and it's just like, they, they feel like I'm being, the chatbot is being more reasonable to them so that maybe they will reciprocate that concession by, by doing me a solid uh, or doing the chatbot a solid. So the, the, my point for this section is just to say conversational commerce uh, opens up, uh, you know, a significant number of, of strategies uh, that, have long been used by traditional salespeople, but were just never really possible uh, using digital advertising. Um, you know, like you can kind of talk your way to to a sale as opposed to trying to, you know. Can I give, can I give an example of what I do in the office with some people? Yeah, is, absolutely. Is we have a ping pong table, and and the currency that we use to actually do bets is cappuccinos. And so I asked somebody. Hey, would you mind putting five cappuccinos on the line for a game of ping pong? And they'd be like, no. And I'm like, well, what about one? And they're like, okay, fine. And like, I, to begin with, I only wanted one, and they're more likely to say yes. So I, I live that day to day what you just basically like told. <laughs> it's it, it's it's a that's the principle of reciprocal concessions. If 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 you make a concession, then the other guy is likely to reciprocate. So um, again, there's you, you just gotta learn like. You know, there's this book called Principles of Persuasion and all this stuff. Like, there's so much stuff you can do here that you cannot do in either email marketing or landing pages. You, you see what I'm saying, Jonathan? I completely agree. Uh, Sorry, I was muted myself. So, so basically, um, you know, talking a little bit about how to grow your contact list because just like email marketing, chat marketing is kind of boring if you only have like, you know, 10 contacts or something. So we need to get lots of subscribers. So like in the olden days of marketing, like, and, and some of you guys are actually still in the olden days of marketing. Are you, are you doing this where you're driving like traffic via pay-per-click advertising and SEO to a landing page so that we can capture their email so that we can email them in their customer inbox. I mean, the problem with this approach is that, you know, open rates on emails are like, you know, five, six, seven percent. And, and I think this is ridiculous. Um, you know, today, um, there's a new way of doing this. And basically what we're trying to do is get people to opt into messaging. So we're trying to get people to message the page uh, so that we can message them back. So the opt-in is basically they have to message us first as the business, and then the, the business has the, the, the rights to then, you know, message back in per perpetuity until the user unsubscribes. Uh, and so what we're not going to do is just wait for people to message the page. That's going to take forever, right? That's like watching paint dry. Um, what you can do is, is you can employ, you know, what, what we call lead magnets um, in, in mobile monkey. So we, we have all these tools to, to help grow your list. Uh, so one of them is called a, a, a comment guard. A comment guard is like a way of 
getting people to uh, respond to your posts and then if they respond if they comment on a post you can um, send them a private reply in messenger like saying like you know hey thanks for that comment or whatever uh, but if they then reply to that comment uh, the, the private reply then they're, they're, they're auto subscribed so you can give this a try um, just give you a couple examples um, what I do is if I find like a, a piece of content that I've posted that is getting a lot of comments okay so like this is like goodbye Facebook news feed with a kooky image and you know Know, like everyone wanted to you know have a, have a say on this on this topic because it was such a controversial topic you see how it's got like almost a million people reached so basically what I did was I just boosted that post with a comment guard on it and so I was able to convert about 700 people in, into subscribers um, for, for, for my chatbot uh, so basically what I'm suggesting here is that you kind of rethink how you post content to your page rather than just you know making declarative statements uh, what you can do is you can ask questions so this is like a silly question it's like what's the answer you know if you if you post your guests in the comments I'm gonna send you an auto auto reply with a correct answer and explanation via mobile monkeys you know autoresponders and so it's like you know the battle of the English of the math you know one rabbit saw six elephants while going to the river every elephant saw two monkeys <laughs> every every monkey holds a parrot how many animals are going to the river like you know, every everyone gets this question wrong, but but um, you know, 57 people responded to this thing, and I, I send them back the the correct answer. But like, what's so cool about this is that it actually generates a lot of organic engagement uh, because the way that the yeah, Facebook. I want, to know, I want to know what the answer is, Larry. Like, what's the answer? How many how many animals are there? <laughs> I have no clue. It's like uh, <laughs> it, 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 there, there there's a trick. There there is a trick here. So um, <laughs> you, you'll you'll have to. You'll have to go to this page. It's like it's a no, it's on my page. I'll have to find it. I'll follow up with an answer for everybody. So, so here's how you set this thing up. You just you know, you 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 specify the content that you're going to send to the user. You specify a frequency cap. So the frequency cap is just like. I, if the person comments twice in the same hour, don't send them a, a second message. You see what I'm saying? Uh, and then, and then you can choose which post to apply it to. It can either be a catch-all, which is sort of like a, a generic autoresponder to all your posts, or a, um, a, res a specific response to a specific post. So that's that's how you set these things up in Mobile Monkey. It's very simple. Um, I want to talk a little bit about landing pages versus send to messenger buttons. So like, I'm sure a lot of you guys are actually using that thing on the left there. Um, you know, those landing pages. Um, um, maybe they're not so god ugly, but you know the concept is kind of the same. You're you're basically trying to get people to fill up manually fill up forms, you know, so that you can capture their emails. My point is just saying like, well, I, I happen to think that messaging permissions is worth a lot more than email because the you know the contact rate is so much higher, and the uh, the the data that's being sent is um, so much more accurate, right? So. Um, what you can do is you can replace those form fields with just a blue button called, you know, learn more. All right. So if they click that button, all the contact information that Facebook has, you know, first name, last name, location, you know, language, uh, profile photo, uh, time zone, etc. Et like all that information as well as messaging permissions is sent to the advertiser automatically. And I think that's really interesting because um, this is so much cleaner, uh, especially in, in mobile where, you know, it's hard to fill out these forms. If they can just press a button, most people already logged into messenger um, so it's, it's it's pretty simple um, another cool way of getting tons of contact is is the website chat widget so this is like I'm sure a lot of people have these little pop-up chat widgets in their in their website so what mobile monkey has is a Facebook messenger chat widget which um, lets you convert anyone who talks to your business into a subscriber you see what I'm saying because we're routing this through messenger uh, and so you know chat can be very frustrating because like imagine someone's asking for pricing and they're asking you know all these great questions but you, but then they close the window and then you don't have any idea who that person was so, like that would be very frustrating but so here it's it's kind of a logged in chat and so you you ha you maintain their conversation history and you you have um you you get their identity from from the first from from the get go um there's there's other ways to get chat contacts like like getting people to opt in through wherever you're collecting emails you, you, you know it's it's still okay to collect emails i'm just saying like why wouldn't you also collect messaging permissions because it's it's just so much more valuable uh and so for our blog when people we ask people to sign up for the the, the, the webinars or the blogs we also have them sign up for for messenger using those check boxes um and any questions about those things i wanted to, to kind of wrap up using uh talking about facebook messenger ads here 
Yeah, there was there was one question that came to mind, like um, that somebody named Datis is asking, like, are there any integrations that MobileMonkey has? Like, will they get pinged in HubSpot or Salesforce, or is it strictly within MobileMonkey and Facebook? Uh, so using connections, you can take like all the contact information that's that's you know generated from. Uh, uh, from the chat conversations, and you can just dump that into Salesforce or HubSpot or wherever the heck okay. you you want it to go. Um, and 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 it works both ways. We can we can even you can have your chat bot. You know, someone could ask you what the weather is, and the chat, chat the chat bot could then access like a weather a weather service to f find out what the weather is. You know, and then it could send that result to the user. So so the pushing out and pulling of data into other other systems is, is pretty common. Um, but let's let's yeah. just talk a little bit about Facebook Messenger ads because I know your background is in pay-per-click advertising and sure, sure yeah. this will be most interesting to our users. Uh, so remember, um, so Facebook ads, how long have you been doing this? Like I started this in like 20, 11, 2012, you know, maybe 2012, I, I think. I don't think I was born. I, don't, I wasn't born then, so you've been doing it way long. I'm just kidding. Uh, I didn't. I definitely didn't do Facebook ads back then. I didn't get started with pay-per-click until like 2013 in general, and Google ads was the start. Yeah, yeah. So like when I started it, it was great. These things were so darn cheap, and 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 it was just like the wild west. These days, the the ad prices are a bit more expensive. The the CPMs for the audiences that I'm interested in have gone from about a buck per per thousand imp impressions to about a hundred dollars these days. Like for for like U.S. marketers and that kind of stuff. Um. So so it's it's kind of disappointing. Um. So I've, I've totally fundamentally changed how I do Facebook ads. Uh, these days, um, I don't spend a ton on, on Facebook ads, but but uh, when I do, it's it's uh, these uh, sent messaging ads, which are sort of a secret gem of, of Facebook ads that you know not very many people use, but I think is actually the, one of the most powerful ad formats uh, in in uh, in the entire platform. And so what happens is it's a little bit like lead ads, Jonathan. So when someone clicks send message. Um, all that contact information, as well as messaging permissions, is is sent automatically to to uh, Mobile Monkey. Okay, so you, you, we we receive all that permissions, um, and and um, basically how how this works is you. Uh, it, it's kind of like an ad with a hundred percent conversion rate because everyone who who um, who clicks the button, we get their contact information, and and, and uh, I think that's very interesting because um, normally you pay three, four, five dollars for a click on an ad. They go to the website, you know, 98% of them, you know, don't fill out whatever the heck you were hoping for them to 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 fill out, and uh, you end up with with just like converting like two percent of them. And so, Messenger ads, it's 100% conversion rate. You're getting all the contact information and the ability to do push notifications to those people who opt in, uh, and so. Uh, what I'm seeing now is like kind of the prices that I used to see, like you know, six years ago. Uh, you know, it's like I can you know do a webinar using click the messaging ad format and and, and get like cost per leads, you know, from three to five dollars, three dollars, three dollars if, if it's remarketing, uh, five dollars if it's kind of a non-remarketing audience. And so that that's because the the conversion rate is 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 like anyone who clicks on the button, we get their their, their contact information. And so, um. Just, just kind of, um, kind of describing this a little bit more detail. Uh, I think this is amazing because, because um, you know, you don't have to make assumptions. You can ask questions of, of the users. Uh, these, these ads. Uh, by the way, the, um, the the key here is that um, when you click send message, okay. So if if you don't have a chat bot, what's going to happen is they're going to just send a message to your page inbox, and it'll just stay there until in that dumping ground until, you know, Johnny, the social media guy, logs in the next morning to, you know, or the next year to to, to look at it. Uh, so, so you also want to configure a chat bot to uh, to receive these messages and dynamically uh, kind of engage with them in real time uh, okay so so like that that's what mobile monkey does um you can make you can c configure it so that it's kind of like a landing page you know like instead of sending them to a landing page you're sending them into a chat funnel uh and in this chat funnel you can ask them questions to reduce assumptions you can produce these two-way conversations using the those conversational hacks and trying to you know really repeat back you know their identity and and, and seem more reasonable and and put in a personality but really makes them feel in control here 
uh, and, and, and segment kind of a, a journey, a buyer journey for them. Um, you know, this is, um, you know, this is where you ask and, and provide easy answers. You know, this is an ad that I was running for, um, you know, my Facebook ad summit, uh, and, and, um, and it was very, very effective. Uh, and we're just repeating back what they, they're, they're revealing to us. Um, and, and, um, you know, it's, it's very, very, uh, convenient for mobile because, you know, 80% of Facebook traffic is mobile. So they don't have to type in any of these responses. I've, I've made it very, um, you know, multiple choice, um, and, and, um, you know, but also providing them with, you know, from time to time, like the ability to, to provide free form responses. Um, you can segment and design a, f a story or a funnel for them. Um, so, you know, here, here we're, we're, we're just, you know, talking up the summit, telling them how great this thing is going to be. And we, we get them to register for it by giving us their email. And now we, we, we send them an email with the the kind of the confirmation with the um, all the login information. So like email is still important. It's more for like uh, n more per persistent content. So like if, it, if it's like a formal registration with all the date, time, link, login, all this stuff, then send it through the email, you know what I mean? Because that, that's more like a system record. I think chat is a little bit more ephemeral. Like it, it's just for like, you know, the back and forth. Uh, and so, you know, this is, this is sort of the experience that we designed uh, in terms of how you set up this chat ad. Uh, there's a couple steps. Uh, you know, first you you actually have to create the send to messenger ad campaign. That's, it's just, it's just like, um, you know, you just, add some text and add some images. The only difference is it's just a, it's a send a message instead of, you know, click, click, click on the website button and, you know, uh, and so that's, um, a couple tips here, uh, in a send a messenger ad, what you're trying to do is encourage, uh, conversation. Okay. So it's kind of like the comment guard, what I was talking about earlier, where you were, where I was posting things to spur conversation. Um, because, um, you know, what, what, what you're trying to do is introducing a story, but leaving the story unfinished. Uh, and so you don't have to like sell the whole damn thing, like right in that, in that small ad space, what you can do is just initiate the conversation. Okay. And, and then, and then there's, once we, once we, they click the button, you'll, you'll receive their messaging permissions. So you can, um, you know, there's plenty of opportunities to sell them on stuff uh, in the near future. And so what, what happens is when the user clicks on that button, all that contact information here, it's like Virginia Nissi is my, my colleague, she's female, you know, English, US time zone, you know, we're getting all this information about her, but also getting, uh, qualifying data because she she uh, she she clicked on the button. Uh, they become a contact in our system, uh, and we can see all of her 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 forms. You can see all my form submissions, like all the like in terms of like um, you know what are the responses that I've 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 had with with, with the chatbot, uh, and and um, you can also create custom audiences of all the all the people who were sent through this chat funnel who responded a certain way on different different kinds of questions like you know home, homeowners or parents or you know etc et you can just you can ask them questions and then create segmentations based on how they respond like conversational criteria um, these these chatbot funnels we t we talked a little bit about um, they're very simple to, to build you you build those using the bot builder that, that I was telling you you're creating these these kind of these journeys with with dynamic and static content uh, and and uh, and basically, um, um, the last thing you needed to do is you need to connect the the chatbot content with the messenger ad. And so, uh, basically, what you're doing is is um, there's two little things that you need to to get from Mobile Monkey. One is called a URL parameter, and the other one is called a messenger setup JSON. It looks like some code. So basically, you take that code and you insert it here where it says URL parameters, okay? I realize this isn't like super intuitive, but but this is how you do it. <laughs> you 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 put that that this parameter that we give you, you put it here, okay? And then this that other JSON code here, like in the message setup, you, you're, you're saying like, we wanna create a custom welcome experience and you, po you paste that code there. And the, so when they click on the ad, our chatbot will will handle the conversation rather than having it go to your page inbox. So that's how that works. It's 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 not rocket science. It's it's a little bit hard, but it's it's not rocket science. And now when the person clicks on send message, because I've connected those parameters from Mobile Monkey into your Facebook ad, uh, that it 
on clicking on this, it goes into a very customized automatic experience as opposed to, you know, just being sent, you know, a message into the page inbox where nobody responds. Uh, and so that's sort of how that works. Uh, um, just uh, there's a couple of things that I would add is, is that you absolutely, absolutely should have a post click strategy. So that's like drip campaigns that nurture. So like after you know, five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes after the, uh, the session ends, you should be sending them just reminders uh, about, you know, different offers or different upsells. Uh, someone was asking about that earlier you know, like abandoned cart messages or, or upsell cart messages. Uh, and and um, th these should be sent out automatically based on, you know, whatever conversational criteria they, they expressed in, in, the, in the content. Uh, and, and then think of it as, a, as like a free remarketing, basically, because, um, you know, remarketing is you have to pay for those things, but messaging, it, it's currently still free. Uh, and in terms of the, um, yeah, that, that, that's sort of the, 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 the the core points of, of uh, click the messaging ads, um, they're cheaper, um, so um, they're, they're more qualified because we, we, we get all the correct information and, and um, we're not making any assumptions, uh, we're, we're asking them. Um, and and, and um, you can also take custom audience lists of, of people, like the, you know, say everyone who said they were an agency, you can actually upload those audiences right back to, to Facebook ads as custom audiences. So you can do traditional uh, Facebook ad remarketing to, to those people. Um, so I think it's, this is a crazy way to build brand affinity for your, for your company. I think they'll love you more. And if, 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 if they do, typically people who've kind of had conversations with and, and build familiar with, with your brand, uh, they tend to, to dramatically prefer buying from you in the future because they feel like there's some kind of a connection here. And, um, you know, it, I think this is, you, you could think that this is kind of like Facebook lead ads, except that with the lead ads, those emails are just being stored in some CRM somewhere here, whereas with Messenger ads, uh, we can do all this automated real-time follow-up, which I think is really the key because uh, the, the interest kind of decays very quickly. And I think you want to kind of strike up the conversation right then and there. Um, so so that's uh, my, my top 10 Facebook messenger marketing hacks um any any questions on on, on um on the uh lead ads or sorry the the messenger ads uh john we, we got a few um and and guys if you're, if you're still here um anything that wasn't clear ask away i mean for myself i can already see like how this is something i'm going to tell our content team because we use another uh ape style platform called mailchimp and we're doing it the old school way and you know the open rates and the click-through rates have kind of been declining over time too. And we're definitely not email marketers by any means, but as far as another channel to unlock for communication purposes, uh, this is no brainer. And it looks like it's very, very simple to get started. And that, that you're only scratching the surface, it seems like too. Um, so that's super, super cool. One person was asking, um, let's say that somebody is starting on the chat bot, but they want to get in touch with an actual real person. Uh, how are we notified if somebody's lost or needs like immediate attention? Is there any way to take over that chat live through mobile monkey? Yeah, this is, see this one here, it's called a sample. It's an email widget. So like if someone says, I want to talk to a salesperson or something, you can then add this block of content where it, if, if the user hits this piece of content, what happens is that we're sending off an email. The chatbot is sending a, an email to the salesperson with a subject, you know, hey, there's a lead, you know, and we can insert the conversational criteria that would be relevant uh, yeah. so that so that Virginia could pick up the conversation from, from, from where they left off. And of course, you can always just break into the chat using the live chat and, and just jump in and, and, and take over from the bot, all right? Okay, no, and does uh, another question coming up? Like, does Mobile Monkey have any recommended best practices around like image sizes, funnel flows, time of day, you know, things like that? Or is that like, how, how does I'd imagine it's whatever the person is ready to engage, like the time of day? Well, so there's sort of the immediate response, like yes, absolutely. The the value here is 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 giving people answers like right away, as opposed to an hour later, uh, and so. Um, the, the question is just um, the the, the follow-up campaigns. So these 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 drip drip campaigns, the the 
post post campaign nurturing. I think you want to be careful not to be sending messages um, at like you know two in the morning or something like that, because uh, I think that that could do damage. And so what we, what you can do is you can schedule uh, blasts in a relative way. So that's where you say like uh, you know. 2 p.m. you know in the user's local time zone um, so there can be no um, be, because we get their time zone as soon as they click the button you know what I mean um, mm. so so just in terms of timing like you should be as fast as possible uh, you know initially and then for the follow-up just schedule it during like kind of safe hours uh, if, if that makes sense um, so yeah. that's kind of the the idea. I just wanted to wrap this up in terms of my chatbot marketing hacks. We talked. You know, thank you everyone for joining us on this epic journey from Donkey Land to Unicorn Land, uh, where we spoke about my different chatbot marketing hacks uh, to to really juice your marketing in 2019 and beyond, including chat blasting and you know how to build these bots and how to create these really great experiences and, and how to use AI to automatically answer questions and how to grow your contact lists. And also, very importantly, how Facebook ads and chatbots are a transformative technology that can really, really juice your your Facebook, uh, you know, ROI numbers, in, in even in 2019 when when prices are so damn high. In fact, I think this is one of the only innovations uh, that is able to to generate this kind of leverage uh, because of the you know all the things that we've been talking about. What does it all mean? Uh, just to, uh, well, I think you know p different people think of chatbots as different things. Um, I think they are a very powerful top of the funnel marketing tool for lead generation, you know, marketing automation, lead qualification, online advertising, that kind of stuff. So like, this is absolutely a marketing technology. Like some people think of it as sort of a customer service replacement, but I think this is uh, just sort of a really really clever way to engage. Uh, customers like immediately uh, in a in a you know at scale uh, and so uh, the 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 reality is that um, people already overwhelmingly prefer chatting uh, via via messaging like two thirds of people uh, prefer uh, uh, messaging over um, you know email and, and so there's a generational shift in in, in you know that, that that's already well underway uh, you know the question is you know, are you going to join, you know, join the conversation where the customers are or not? And I think, I think it would be crazy to, to, to not do this. So that's, that's all I had, Jonathan. Um, you can get the slides here. I, you know, maybe we have a minute or two for questions. I know it's, it's, it's been a long Yeah. Time. No, no, I, I seriously love it, Larry. Thank you so, so much. A lot of questions um, still coming through. Some people are asking for a free pro account, but I'll, I'll let you handle that with your regular support. Um, so one quick question that was coming in was the, the concern in regards to like how it completely be automated with no human involvement um, or versus like, you know, when leads are quote unquote hot and can it be routed to a salesperson? So, so are there triggers or different audiences that would like entail like, hey, if somebody replies or, or interacts with a bot, it's because they are part of an audience that would be like, hey, they're ready to almost like close as a sale. What, what are your thoughts on that? So that's remember that email bit widget that I showed you there, Jonathan. So that's like you could ask a question like, "What's your what's your budget?" And if the budget was yeah. like, you know, ten million dollars or something, if they typed in, well then, <laughs> then then you should fire off a, an email like like yeah. to, to to you know all the entire sales team and say like someone should jump on this conversation. You know you know you can yeah. you can you can link to the bot and they can just jump right in and and you know the first person who who gets it gets it. You know. Yeah, makes sense. Round robin. Okay, cool. Um, and some other people were asking, like, this is way over my head. I thought it was amazing content. I think that obviously the replay and the recording we'll send out to everybody. Uh, we'll also have this on our YouTube channel shortly as well. Um, but look out for that email. Um, Larry, thank you so much, man. Like, we're we're gonna start using some of this kind of stuff. We're we're super pumped about it. So really appreciate it. Sure. I I, I think that this is a good fit for you guys because it's kind of like. It, it's it's like if you're an agency, uh, isn't the key to offer something new? You know, like it is. Totally. Uh, yeah. and, and then and then land and expand, like grow that, you know, show some success and and uh, and then grow that business. Uh, so, um, anyways, uh, it's it's great to uh, 
to have the opportunity. Let's do it again. Uh, not uh, let's not wait two more years. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good, man. Really appreciate it. Uh, thank you guys all for joining, and uh, we'll be in touch soon. All right. Thanks. Uh, thanks, Jonathan. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.